Oh, yeah? Already. Already. I mean, it's 7.34. We haven't, we haven't talked, talked about, food about food all day. We've kind of talked about food because we've talked about the snack barge right. a little bit. Just a little bit, And we've yeah. got Matt from the snack barge, lknsnackbarge.com. Good morning to you, Matt. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Of course. It sounds like you need a barge burger. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, let's, that's, don't get him started on burgers. <laughs> I, I've, I've been on Lake Norman. I've lived at Lake Norman for... 20 plus years uh, as far as Cornelius area and I do do you, does the snack barge come to the south side of the lake do you guys come all the way to the to the dam and to all that this area down here well we don't come to the dam we come we you know we go to the hot spots like there's cocktail cove which is near the uh trump peninsula yeah uh we go to dog island the sandbar uh we also do private dock parties as well so i mean if there's a dock party or some sort of an event on the south end we'll come down here we did an event at uh Safe Harbor, Kings mm-hmm. Point Marina. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you know, that's the south end there. But uh, typically to just go hang out and operate, it's, it's got to be one of the hot spots where we're going to be slammed. If I had to guess, really make up like how this business started, you were on the lake one day, you were hungry, you said, I want a burger, and no one was bringing one to you. Well, well, that's part of it. So, I mean, I moved here from a different country. I moved here from Toronto, Canada. And, uh, you know, I was really surprised. that You no a plum sauce guy? Uh, no, not at all, actually. Mm. You know, I, that's the first time I've been asked that. It took me a minute to register there. Ever in your life? No, I've never been a plum sauce guy. Wow. And never been asked if I was a plum <laughs> sauce guy, actually. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Well, well, thank yeah, you. It's great. Deep cut. <laughs> it's great. Um, no, realistically, so I, I moved here from Toronto, Canada a little over two years ago. Out on the water. I'm a boat guy. Uh, so, got a boat first thing. Went out cruising around, trying to get food at some of the local restaurants and realizing, you know, it's not, well, it's easier said than done. Get to some of the restaurants, docks are full. By the time a slip finally opens up, get docked, get to the stand, yeah, it's going to be a 40-minute wait. Then you get there, and before you know it, you're spending 100, 150 bucks between a few people. So why is there not a mobile food service? And, you know, it turns out a few people have tried it, but to do it legally, properly, registered with environmental health and safety, it's a tall order. And, you know, I didn't mind meeting that order um carter uh my ex-business partner came to me uh, and and he said you know we should be doing something like this i get people at the he worked at safe harbor marina Mm. uh previously and i said you know people are coming in all the time ending their lake day because they're hungry they couldn't get a spot at one of the restaurants because there should be a a food shack kind of deal and you know we both liked the idea we both thought it was a Mm. something that the lake needed and we're both from out we're both outsiders he came from arizona so it, I think it took the two of us to come in, look around, and say, why is no one doing this? And we put it together. So I don't fish, but if I was like a fisherman on the lake right now, could I order something from you right now, or you guys have a particular season you're out there? Yeah, we're definitely seasonal. Typically, it's um, it's between May and end of September, so beginning of May to end of September is prime season. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays are on the lake. Fridays sometimes are on the lake, but typically we're at breweries. So we actually put the boat on a trailer and go to breweries on land. Hmm. It's a really cool concept, especially if the brewery is like a lake-themed type brewery. Mm-hmm. Uh, 760 Brewery in Huntersville is one that we go to quite often. We do quite well there. Um, and that's a that's a lake-themed. 760 is actually the full pond sea level of sure. Lake Norman. The right? contour lines. That's, there you go. <laughs> so um, that's the schedule. During the week, special events only. It's got to be booked. What's like your favorite part of it? Like what? What's like? Why keep doing it? Why? Why deliver food to people on the lake? I love food. Um, I love Fit people. Right in. <laughs> um, so welcome to the show. <laughs> I've been. Uh, my my background is all automotive, automotive engineering, automotive sales, basically anything to do with cars. And I've always had a passion for food. Um, so when this opportunity came up, this was you know my time to shine on showing people what I can do behind the grill. Um, and that's my favorite part to it, I think, is, and also making people happy. There's no one that's upset when we show up. Right. Like, only people are excited. And, the, you know, they're, they're thrilled. We show up, the snack bar just here. We got food, drinks, snacks, great music. It's always a good time. It's one of those businesses where everyone is happy to see you. I could have, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> food, sorry, when food comes up, we start talking over each other. We get too excited. Thing, so go ahead. We get too excited about food. Yeah, when you talk about the experience, too, like, right, it's not just a, a boat pulling up, just flipping burgers. It's right. the whole experience. It's the music. It's a party. It's the life. Yeah, so yeah. talk a little bit more about, like, that party aspect. That so we built this boat to be pretty versatile. I mean, it's, uh, like, even right on the on the top banners of the boat, you, you got fresh food, uh, snacks, refreshments, 
entertainment. So entertainment's a big aspect to it. So it this boat, it's got a full light show that we put in there. So LED lights all the way around the top, all the way around the deck. DJ stage lighting's front and rear. It actually has a DJ booth on the front patio of the boat. So, front patio. Yeah, <laughs> there, we built the front patio. Huh, I like boat. that. Yeah. I'm gonna start using that. Um, one. Everything was thought through. So you know, we have we have different types of playlists for different types of parties. So. Anywhere we are, we have a crazy JBL sound system on the front of the boat that you can hear from one end of the lake to the other. Uh, you know, we don't disturb people the peace. People love that. Yeah, we don't people disturb love the peace by any means, but <laughs> we keep like uh, neutral, exciting music that, and, and just people are happy to be a part of it. So do you actually cook on the boat? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so Plus, that's that's the biggest challenge to doing this this deal. I mean, a, a ton of people, the amount of people that have come to us and said, oh, man, I've always wanted to do something like this. But they realize how much work it is, right? Because you, you can sell prepackaged food on just an open boat in a cooler or whatever. That's not, not so regulated. As soon as you start cooking food, you need to have a full enclosure. You need to have ventilation, food grade, everything, approve environmental health and safety, two sinks, one for hands, one for utensils. It's a ton of work. And it's, Dump that bacon fat right in the lake. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get it. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. They'd probably take that 99 sanitary rating and kick us down about 10 points. No, but, don't do that. The Lake yeah. Marine Commission won't be yeah, they won't like that. <laughs> I'm looking at the menu here. Do you guys also – I see the food options. Do you yeah. carry like, you know – Tylenol, sunscreen, anything like that, like the kind of other you know, random things? That's the first time I've ever been asked that. That's two today. Two. And I'm going to have yeah, to make yeah. some notes when I walk out of here. i got to mm-hmm. see the legality of serving Tylenol. I don't know. Or sunscreen, even, that, you know what I mean? Like, you probably no, slam some no, sunscreen. That's a, that's, a, that's a good idea. So like, once, how bad do you want, like, how bad do you not want cancer? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. like, start bidding. Right, worse, you look you know? a little red. Yeah. You, you don't want a barge burger, no problem. You're a little red. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what come apparently spray you real That's quick. right. You're a sales guy. You get it. We're likely going to bring ice cream in 2024. Oh. So we'll see. Actually, one thing that I'm not sure, you know, some people may know, some people may not, but the snack bar is actually for sale right now. It's listed for the right offer. I love this business, so I'm not eager to just give it away. Where do you have it listed at right now? I have it listed on Facebook Marketplace. I've listed it in a few uh, business groups. Should and we auction it right now? I'm not you, an auctioneer, but I'll auction it right now. I'd love to see your auctioneer skills. <laughs> yeah. See how quick you can I'm not get an auctioneer. Legally, I can't say it's an auction no. because I'm not an auctioneer. There's a whole thing behind that. But uh, if you want the business, 844-STUDIO-4, call in right now, make an offer. You there, know? Hey. there you go. Um, it's a great business. I, I definitely don't want to let go of it by any means. I, I truly do love it. Just one of those things where tied up in, in a lot of different businesses and my time stretched pretty thin right now. But again, like I said, I love this business. So I'm, I'm putting plans in place right now. So, you know, if it doesn't sell, which is does not it make money, it makes great money. Because I was wondering, like, you know, marginally, like, food margins are tough. That's one, like, mm-hmm. restaurant space, the food space. Like, it's so, very hard to get into that. We okay. have great margins. Um, you know, I shouldn't be telling everyone. Everyone's, these guys are making a ton of money off us. But, I mean, it's a, it's a huge ordeal. It takes yeah. a lot of work to hey, operate supply this and demand. Stuff. My right. tummy's hungry. You know? Now, yeah. we, we have a very simple menu. It's four signature items. Everything is absolutely delicious. And it's all simple ingredients that we can buy fresh on Thursday and be sold by Sunday. So, there's not a lot of food waste. The margins are 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 quite good um you know the the price is a bit of a premium because of the service that we're offering i mean it's not going to be a five dollar cheeseburger by any means where can you get a five dollar cheeseburger anymore i mean i don't even think the double cheeseburger at mcdonald's is five yeah you gotta go to like value pay even value picks are like five dollars now which is is bizarre but anyway that's the world we live in i was Uh, gonna start listing other places (laughs) i can get five (laughs) dollar meals depending on on new ownership whether it changes hands or not i mean if it stays in my possessions i'm i'm going to be introducing ice cream in 2024 that's that's a given. So you have like your coolers ready because I mean, now you gotta like it's ninety yeah. degrees outside yeah, and this so stuff's got a freezer for sure. Yeah. So we have a we have a pretty intricate electrical system. It's a two forty volt fifty amp power system. We can power just about anything there. We've got air conditioning, ventilation. We've got two refrigerators. Uh, like it's a commercial kitchen on a boat is what it is. So did you build it or did yes. you you yeah, did from okay. scratch? Yeah, wow. I've seen the videos of like what it took for you guys to put it yeah, together. Yeah, oh, pretty man. amazing. And it, it, if we had more time, I could sit here and, and probably give you hours of just ridiculous stories and how it just snowballed one thing into another building this boat. It, it was a crazy ordeal that we thought was going to take a few months and ended up taking about a year. Uh, just one thing leading to another, different regulations, health department, oh, you need this, you need that, you need this. Okay, back to the drawing board. Craziest story from on the lake then. We'll, we can get into oh, the boat on the next On segment, the lake, so, yeah. so it, it would have been... Um, Likely when we went out on the water, it was a pretty busy weekend and we got hit with some massive waves and almost lost the boat 
So since then, we've built these balance support pontoons that go on the side and support it. Like a catamaran. Exactly, yeah. So we have these clip-on side pontoons that keep it level now. But before we had those, you know, we thought we were going to be fine. We got hit with a ma- – it's wake boats. They love us. They see us and they go, oh, it's snack bars. Let's go say hi. And they don't realize they're <laughs> flying by yeah. us, throwing a huge wave. So we actually almost lost it. I was driving it. We went up on one of the waves. The grill fell over. Oh, the God. strap broke. It was a catastrophe. But, you know, luckily we saved everything. I'm, like, holding the grill up with Save my Save the knee. burgers! Oh, yeah. But, no, we saved it right from then. We pulled it off the water. We said, we're not going back on the water until we build some stabilizers. We're talking with Matt of LKN Snack Barge, LKNSnackBarge.com. Also, LKN Snack Barge on Instagram? Uh, just the Snack Barge on Instagram. You're with LKN Snack Barge, particularly Matt, co-founder, founder? Yeah, LKN founder, Snack co-founder, Barge. yeah. How many snacks have you sold, would you say, in, in your life? How many snacks have I sold in my life? Yeah. Oh, man. That's a great question. I, another one that I've never been asked. Interesting. <laughs> great interviewer here. Not uh, the park today, man. <laughs> I'd say millions, if not billions. Wow. wow. No, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I've never really been well. good at math. Pieces of paper? Never, been, that... good, never been good at math. <laughs> I, I doubt that's uh, true, given that you're a car guy. You're probably a lot about math, if I guess. A little bit. Guess. Yeah. yeah. So uh, thus far, you have built this snack barge empire mm-hmm. where you deliver empire. the nutritious deliciousness to people's bellies in the lake while they are, we'll say, cohesively there. Sure. Uh, so give us some more of the stories like behind the scenes. You told us you almost lost the boat once. Yeah. That's got to be tragic. Yeah. What about building of the boat? What's like the top memory you have of building? There the wasn't a single step of building the boat that wasn't an issue. Every single step of the way, there was problems. Um, and it's funny, actually, the amount of people that call me up saying, hey, I'm thinking about building a food boat. What should I know? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> or just be very prepared. I mean, the very first thing, we bought a boat. We're saying, you know, what? it's got to be at least 24 feet. It's got to be at least 8 feet wide. It's got to have big tunes. It's got to support a lot of weight. We found a, a good boat, that's what we thought. Uh, we get it back to the shop. I was up in Canada, so Carter went and picked it up, brought it back to the shop. I got back from from Canada to go inspect this thing, and like within ten minutes, I'm like, "Oh man, this is this is rough." Oh, the no. the subfloor was like rotted. The yeah. transom had mold everywhere. It was bad. So, I'm a glass half full kind of guy. So we we we're, we're like looking at each other, like we're gonna keep doing this. I'm I'm just look. This gives us an opportunity to tear it down, pull the engine out, take the drive unit off, strip the floor, tear it down to basically nothing but pontoons, and build it the way we want to build it. So that's exactly what we did. And that was probably a three-month setback because we had to strip it to nothing, take the engine, drive unit out, strip the transom down. And it's an inboard-outboard, so the engine's basically inside the boat. It's mm-hmm. not clipped onto the mm-hmm. back, right? So it's it's a whole whole different animal. What kind? What size horsepower engine do you got? 230 then? horsepower. You it, got to. It's a 4.3 V6, yeah. um, which, you know, me being a car guy, it's got a cam and the heads have been... Uh, machined and and ported custom so, of course yeah, yeah. so yeah. It, it makes decent power it, it moves it along as as well as it needs to but you know every step of the way there there was a, like the str- even just to serve food legally you need an airtight enclosure it has to be completely sealed anything that opens and closes have to has has to have rubber seals has to be caulked siliconed um, anything that opens has to have a screen like you can't have any outside environment you have to have ventilation uh, even just balancing like calculating the weight of the boat you know, when we go out on the water, it's going to be heavier than when we go in because we've got a full load of food. And where's the food going to sit? Is it on the right side? Well, it's going to be heavier on the right side than when we come back because it's going to be out of food. So there's got like 300 pounds of food. That's going to matter too. Like there wasn't a single step along the way where we just like, no, that was easy. <laughs> Every yeah. We make videos actually joking around about, oh, so we're just going to, you know, transom's a little soft and we want it to be strong. So we're just going to re- rebuild it real quick. And it'll be like a 10 second time lapse, which yeah. is really three months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I love the time lapse. Yeah. So like, that took a very long time. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did. But it, it turned out, and I actually, I, I wouldn't want to change that. We learned a lot. Um, and it's built exactly the way it needs to be built. Every single thing on that boat has a purpose. And anyone who's seen it is blown away by it. The Snack Barge on Instagram. That's how you can find them. The yes. Snack Barge. And I'm looking at LKNSnackBarge.com. I'm looking at the menu here. What's the most popular item? Barge Burger, hands down. It's a Smash Burger. It's a Smash Burger. That's right. You so, know, I judge a place by its burger. I will judge. I, I don't like judging people, but I will judge a place by its burger. Yeah, well, you. this is going to be the best burger you've ever had. And oh, you can hold me to that. <laughs> we get that all the time. We get that absolutely all the time. What makes it so good? Everything. 
Everything. What, there you go. what doesn't? I mean, why you, is it not? I, I can Maybe. walk you through it. Drop the mic. <laughs> I, I can walk you through a barge burger. It's it's a brioche bun. Walk me through that. I'm walking through the pad. I'm so we make the close your everything. Eyes, push the, push the There's button. nothing. There yeah, there we go. There's nothing pre-made about this thing. It's a brioche bun, mm. brushed with garlic butter, mm. toasted. Yep. Uh, it's two 3.5 ounce patties that are pressed thin, D- seasoned with our with our barge mm. seasoning, which is a salt, mm. pepper, garlic powder, cayenne, and chili. Mm. Um, two slices of aged cheddar. What? Uh, three pickle chips and mm, little, little uh, tang tang and barge there. sauce, which is top secret. I can't tell you what's in it, but I can tell you it's absolutely delicious. Barge sauce. Barge sauce. Is it Mac sauce? It's not Mac sauce. No, okay. it's better than Mac sauce better. by a long shot. Mm. Yeah. Have you had this? No. I'm oh, you're not. looking at me like I'm crazy right I'm now. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just enjoying. My eyes were closed. Were your eyes closed? <laughs> no, I'm just enjoying your. Uh, it, it's absolutely incredible. And second to the barge burger would be the um, spiced mango shrimp tacos, which is a mm. like a Cajun shrimp taco with sure. mango habanero salsa. My kids love grilled cheese. How's that grilled cheese? Great. Four cheese, Asiago crusted. Mm. You can't go wrong. It's only yeah. seven fifty three in the morning. <laughs> there we go. Now, we got I'm some for everyone. About. Barge burger is the average American favorite. The tacos are gluten free option. They're on a corn tortilla. Grilled cheese is your vegetarian option, and everyone loves a hot dog every now and then. So we got to throw that on the menu. As a fellow entrepreneur, I was always taught don't get too emotionally attached to the business. You seem emotionally attached to this business right now, <laughs> given that it's for sale, and you just keep rattling off these food items. I love it. Yeah, I don't get involved with something unless I'm going to give it my all. And so anything I've ever been involved in, I've been passionate about. Whether I keep it, sell it, move on from things, and I've been invested in a handful of different businesses in my life, and I've been just as emotionally attached but you know when it's time to move on it's time to move on um i'm not so sure about this one and i like i said i love this business this is probably this is the only business i've been involved in that's not automotive Mm. and i think that's why i'm so passionate about it because it's it's different and i love it and so do you just like do you still go out there on saturdays and sundays and you serve up and cook up these burgers or you got a team that's kind of so we so 2024 there's going to be a team together 23 was was mostly myself and carter and uh, we brought in a gentleman by the name of michael really hard working young guy and learned extremely quickly he'll be part of the team for 24 um he'll be in a management position i will likely step i mean i'll Come, I, I, it is fun, right? Yeah, so I'll step right. in every now and then. Sure. Um, but you're going to be out of the lake anyway, so you might as well. Yeah, or I'll be at the racetrack. <laughs> so that's the thing. So we're, we're my family's big into drag racing. Yeah. So. And then, so w- w- if you kept the business, mm-hmm. would you want multiple boats at one point, or no? Is it like that's it's... always been the thought? Is is have well, you mentioned an empire. Yeah. So maybe have an sure. empire of snack barge boats. I mean, it it makes good money. It's it's a profitable business. It's there's hundreds of lakes even just near us that would do well you could actually have two or three of these boats on lake norman Easily. and they would all be busy like yeah. we sell out within a few hours before even hitting all the hot spots so i i could see multiple boats um it, you know maybe work on a leasing program kind of deal almost like a franchise build the boats lease them out to franchisees or entrepreneurs yeah. who want to run their own business on multiple lakes that's a unique opportunity yeah. i think put a hammock on mine and live out there yeah you know, it's not a massive investment. I mean, it's it's you're not going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, but you've got a business that has very low overhead and makes great money with not a lot of work. So, so what brought you then to Lake Norman? Was it the racing scene that brought you to Lake Norman? Yeah, racing and, and manufacturing. Um, my family business owns an uh, environmental company. We manufacture catalytic converters and emission control systems for any internal combustion engine. So. We uh, are based out of Toronto, Canada. We expanded to Troutman, North Carolina. Shout uh, out Troutman! Yeah, yeah, represent. I love Troutman. I do too. Uh, yeah. There's a company called Cooks Headers and Exhaust, which is in Troutman as well. Or they're in uh, Statesville, actually. They're one of our biggest clients, so it made sense for us to kind of be in this area. They're a sponsor on WSIC. On oh, is station. that right? Oh, yeah, they're oh. good people. Yeah, oh, great yeah, great people. They're yeah. there all the time. So they've been clients of ours for a very long time. Um, distribution, it makes sense as well, being in this area. Uh, we can get parts to people within a couple days, pretty much anywhere in the U.S. being here. So, yeah, mostly was for manufacturing, but you know, like I mentioned, we have my family's huge into drag racing. We had the opportunity to purchase a racing organization um, once we moved here, so we took advantage of that as well. What do you like about Lake Norman as compared to Toronto, Canada? I'm just curious about that, the difference. I, I mean, it's a lot different. So Toronto, Canada is – Toronto is a way bigger city than Charlotte. Like, it's – 10 times as big as Charlotte is, and there's actually way more to do. I, I love Charlotte. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to trash it. But there, now you can talk to him about Charlotte. Yeah, we're we're like Norman. About, you can talk about Charlotte. Charlotte. Norman. So, so, yeah. so here's where, where it comes into play. So in Toronto, there's 
to go to the cottage country, you got to drive like two hours. You go two hours north and you're in the Muskokas, which is what they're called really. And then you've got all your cottage and you've got your lakes and your boating and whatnot. Here, you could be in Charlotte and drive 25 minutes and you're on Lake Norman. Mm -hmm. It's close to the city, but you also have your, your freedom, right? It's not too busy. Everyone's friendly. I, I find in Toronto being a busy city, people are, you know, often stressed out. They're rushed. They're, mm -hmm. There's, you know, there's not a lot of happy people, is at least what I've found. Here, people seem to be happy in a good mood. Everyone's, you know, grateful. Everyone's kind of come from somewhere else and they're all grateful to be here. We wave with all five fingers here. Yeah, you that's do. The, you know, yeah, that, in that, Toronto, that, do they right. or no? Do we? Usually, do we? just one. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of that New York mindset, maybe, yeah. or something like that. I don't know. No, it's it's beautiful here, and and especially the weather. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with that. I mean, we've got snow six months of the year, snow, cold slash rain, not great. Um, but here we don't have that. So beautiful. when you get, when we get snow here, you wait. Have you been here with us? Yes. today? because the snow yeah. drought actually. Right? Snowed in two years, so the right? year I I got here was like the first snowfall that they had in five years. Um, Did and, you laugh? I, well, you know, it's funny. I actually Everything had... Everything was closed. I had... I just bought my grandfather's Cadillac DTS and it had snow tires. And a buddy of mine brought the car down here for me. I asked him to change the tires before he came down. He forgot. Oh. So it still had brand new snow tires on. So I was laughing. I, it was great. <laughs> it worked out well. Oh, yeah. Me, huh? I was like, I'm driving to the grocery stores. The store, the shelves are empty. They're like, yeah, no deliveries today. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Everything's <laughs> like, like in Toronto, this is just a normal... This is actually a little dusting. This is nothing. But You, you were pulling around the boat trailer on the back of the <laughs> oh, snow, yeah. ready to oh, rip yeah. and run. There no you go. problem. <laughs> All right, we've got Matt, who's been hanging out with us. LKN Snack Barge. You can find him on Instagram, The Snack Barge, May to September. Yeah, that's the primetime season. We'll do some special events here and there outside of those dates, but on the water, that's when you'll see us, Saturdays and Sundays. So if you get hungry, mm. you get hungry on that water, maybe maybe if you need some sunscreen, we start auctioning yeah, off some we'll sunscreen on the too. lake too maybe this season. Oh, yeah. The Barge Burger uh, smash burger. You got, I'm like, I know. <laughs> it's incredible. It's the juiciest burger you've ever had. Wow. Well, thank you for coming. We appreciate you. Of course. Thanks and for then, having me. Again, the business is for sale potentially. It is for sale. To the right buyer. To the right buyer. I can understand. You first. Yeah. That's right. You can find it on Facebook Marketplace, lknsnackbarge.com, the snack barge on Instagram. I, I just I got nothing else to say yeah, about food right now. now. Although just, let's just keep talking about food the rest of the day. Maybe some some mango let's go. shrimp tacos. Let's go fire yeah. up the grill. Let's go. Right. Spice mango shrimp tacos They're, in the morning for that's breakfast. That's the second oh. most hottest one. You'll love yeah. it. That sounds really good right now. Mm. Matt again with LKN Snack Barge, lknsnackbarge.com.